do you think that black men slash african men have a problem with girls having their natural hair african men will see you with your wig and everything be attracted to you get your number text you and then shame you for wearing the wig <laughs> hi guys thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here hi i'm Rhonda, and this is talks with Rhonda. great mood because there's 500 of us now there's 500 of us now there is 500 of us guys i am so excited i'm so excited i can't believe there's 500 i have 500 subscribers guys. some people might think okay this is really small why is she doing all that and stuff like that this channel means so much to me I, without this channel i don't think i would have made it where i am like Honestly, there are some times where I feel really, really down and I'm just like, you know what? I still have my YouTube channel and I can, that's something that I've started that I can grow into something bigger. And then it just cheers me up. So you guys have no idea how much it means to me. Like it's not, it's more than the number. It's more than the likes, the subscribers, the following, all that. It really just keeps me going. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for 500. This is celebration. I'm happy. You're happy. We're happy. We're all happy. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much. So let me just get right into the video because today we have so much to talk about. Let me just get right into it right now. First, let me just tell you that this video might be all over the place because there's so much that I want to say about these subjects and I've been wanting to make a video about you know navigating beauty standards and the dating world as an african girl in africa so it's kind of going to be all over the place but yeah we're going to try to structure it to the best of my ability but bear with me please just bear with me so if you're familiar with my channel you know that i don't just make vlogs that when i started my channel what i really liked doing was these reaction videos kind of like giving you guys my opinions about these things so that we can bring some of these conversations that i find important forward so i'm trying to do that in um you know a different way that kind of like reflects my growth the video that we're watching today is um the short 4c hair video that was done by this tiktoker called lip gloss um like a few weeks ago and it went kind of viral and i started like seeing a lot of youtube reactions to that tiktok and people kind of debating about it so yeah basically i'm just going to like show snippets of the video and um i'll give you my opinion right after so that we can talk about it in the comment section without further ado let me just go right into it and react to the short 4c hair video let's start Hey y'all, so I'm trying to learn how to wear my natural hair untouched. This is how it looked when I woke up. Y'all was talking about all type of moisturizing, gel, this, is that. I have product in my hair, dude. The hair is very moisturized, bitch. This is just how the hair look. That's what I don't want to run from anymore. This is what the hair want to do, so I have to let it do what it want to do. I want to learn to wear it completely shrunk. I don't want to stretch it. The hair is not meant to be long, will never be long. And it's time society came to terms with that. How you gonna tell me how I was born is ugly? Like, stop playing with me anyway it's a struggle like i'm struggling to accept how it looks so bad it's shaped like that from the side anyway i put this outfit on let me tell you right now i can only put white boys with this hair but i'm not mad to be honest anyways this is the back the back was eating lotion on the stomach just to help me out a little bit more yeah it's hard as fuck to do this but i'm just gonna try you know what i mean i'm just gonna try okay so I don't know if you guys cut that part, but the l the little sentence that she said near the end of the video is what got everybody angry. So this part is what got everybody angry. Anyway, I put this outfit on. Let me tell you right now, I can only pull white boys with this hair. She said, let me tell you right now, I can only pull white boys with this hair. So this is what created the whole controversy online. So a lot of black men online were like, no, that's not true. We love black girls with their natural hair, blah, blah, blah. And um, there was a guy that actually like, he made a whole profile for her on a dating site to kind of like prove that a lot of men would actually approach her with her hair like that. A lot of black girls were like, no, black men don't like us with our natural hair. The black men were like, no, we love black girls with their natural hair and stuff like that. It's 
a whole lot first of all just if you're watching this and you're interested in this topic you can answer in the comments just tell me do you think that black men or african men like in this video i'm going to talk a lot more about like african men specifically or in the african context do you think that black men slash african men have a problem with girls having their natural hair do you think that they are not as attracted to girls that you know go natural just tell me what you think in the comments i'm going to tell you what i think here those who know me or who knew me like two years ago know that i was like swearing up and down that i you would never catch me in a wig like i was like i just didn't understand the point or the reason why a black girl that has hair would go on and put a different you know something else to cover up her hair even though she has hair under like, i see myself as a very afrocentric person as um somebody that is really proud of my roots of my culture and all that so i was like it was just it made no sense for me to be like okay i'm going to wear a wig like why would i do that like why um but obviously obviously things have changed since then like I've developed a different opinion about it and that is what i'm going to tell you guys now what happened was that i went to college i don't want to be wearing my hair in a high puff every day of the week because that is damaging to my hair my hair doesn't grow when i do that i don't want to like back in high school what i did was that i would actually like braid my hair the night before and in the morning like to stretch it right in the morning i would like you know comb it out and stuff but everybody who has natural hair knows that when you manipulate your natural hair it breaks so that does not help your natural hair whatever else i can do to just keep my hair okay for me was like fine so honestly it was just the wigs were just convenient for me but also i was getting different treatments when i was wearing the wigs compared to when i'm wearing my natural hair or even when i'm wearing braids like and i'm talking about men's reaction i'm not talking about how other women react to it when it comes to like men's reaction it's like when you're wearing the wig you're a lady you are approachable you're somebody that i should court you're somebody that i should help i want to make her life easier look at how good she looks she looks like a goddess things like that but when i'm wearing my hair in twists or if i'm wearing a scarf and stuff i get ignored it's like girl <laughs> like yeah she's a sister like she's yeah she's just walking around or literally people would like in benin here people would literally be screaming at you like ah, did your boyfriend not give you money for your, your braids it's like somebody's not taking care of you and that's why you look like that it's like you look rough with your natural hair so for me if i have to answer that question whether or not african men or black men prefer girls that are into like the today's beauty standards honestly i feel like it's obvious like i get so many compliments people asking for my number people like borderline harassing me when i'm in my wig african looks are associated with strength so it's like we won't take care of you the way we're supposed to take care of you or we won't do this do that because you lose your womanhood when you embrace your blackness like i don't i'm not saying that dark skinned girls who wear their hair natural and who are more afrocentric should change the way they are in any way that is not what i'm saying i'm just making a statement about how society kind of responds to that appearance or to that aesthetic i think a lot of african guys would complain about you know african women being too rough not being soft enough and stuff like that but women are soft when they're in an environment where they feel like they can trust the people around them if you don't make a woman feel like okay you are safe here you're protected you are provided for um there's nothing you should worry about she's not going to be you're not going to get her soft feminine nurturing submissive side <laughs> you know you're not gonna get that she's going to be like oh i have to fight i have to survive i'm going to be in survivor's mode if i'm being completely honest when we say that we wear wigs for convenience it's not true honestly maintaining a wig is not easy is not and it's expensive and all that so how convenient is it really we wear wigs for the appearance of it we wear wigs really because of the favors we get when we're wear wearing them that's really why we continue to wear it because if it was about convenience i would literally do my cornrows wear my scarf roll out of bed and go out and that is the most comfortable i would be what is really convenient is being able to 
walk out of your house and like your corn rolls without anybody being like what did you do to your head and stuff like that and that's coming from african people who it's not like they're not used to your hair texture because they have it on their head themselves so the real convenience would be if we were able to just walk out in twist outs or in traditional hairstyles and stuff without being looked down upon at least that is my opinion i don't know what you think but that is my opinion and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you will not be approached at all with your natural hair and stuff but i'm just saying that it might not be the type of guy you want that will approach you I feel like some guys associate um having natural hair with low maintenance it's like oh she's not going to demand a lot from me and stuff like that so yeah i'm going to pick that one or she reminds me of my mother and yeah it could be a good thing that you remind him of your mother but does he want a girlfriend or a mom that might be another toxic thing right the guy you want most likely wants you to wear a wig <laughs> at least when he's courting you because that's something else because it's like when they're courting you they want you to look like the dream girl not just for them but the dream girl for their for their homeboys as well they want you to look like the girl that everybody wants and you know it's possible to look soft and feminine while still you know being assertive about your africanness so i'm going to put like some hairstyles here that are like examples of like how what things you could do that are very feminine that are very girly and all that but um are still very african and stuff but will you get the guys you want faster when you look like that or when you're wearing a wig like this that is the thing i'm just talking about the reality of today's world then the reality is that you know you're considered more feminine when you look less african african men will see you with your wig and everything be attracted to you get your number text you and then shame you for wearing the wig <laughs> if they were making a point that you know that is their preference you know dark-skinned african hair girls is their preference girls wouldn't be wearing wigs <laughs> so the problem is not really girls not loving themselves i i really don't think the problem is that we don't love ourselves so we feel like we have to cover up and change our appearance and stuff it's really how the world responds to us when we're trying to look ourselves as much as possible hey guys that's basically what i have to say about the whole hair thing and like african aesthetics things like you know at the end of the day we really need to learn how to find a balance between the two and um first of all don't judge people who wear wigs leave them alone leave us alone you don't know why they do they're not the problem the problem is you like who like who are you supporting are you supporting the girls that wear all natural and that look you know um like this girl lip gloss or are you supporting beyonce rihanna and the girls that you know are rocking the wigs or are you supporting both you can support both why not but stop judging stop pointing fingers and stuff like that i want to make another video about submission but that will kind of depend on how you guys respond to this video i don't know if you guys have liked this video give it a thumbs up please give it a thumbs up share with somebody leave a comment subscribe to my channel and join i this it's been so long since i've said this guys but join my little circle thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me until the end as always keep feeling and flowing and i will see you next time on talks with ronda Mwah.